Or what if I told you a young boy named Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky, would grow up to shake the world as Muhammad Ali? Born into a modest family, a 12-year-old Cassius discovered boxing through an unexpected encounter with a local police officer and boxing coach. Under his guidance, the boy's raw talent was honed into a force to be reckoned with. His unique boxing style, a blend of lightning-fast footwork and razor-sharp jabs, was a spectacle that left spectators in awe and opponents in defeat. Rising through the ranks with an unbroken string of victories, Cassius Clay was more than a force in the ring. His charismatic persona and quick-witted charm captured the hearts of many, transforming him into a beloved figure. His moment of glory arrived in 1960. Aged just 18, Cassius won the gold medal in the light heavyweight division at the Rome Olympics. Little did the world know this was just the beginning of his journey. As Cassius Clay morphed into Muhammad Ali, so did his impact on the boxing world and beyond. This transformation was not just about a change in name, but a shift in identity, a shift in purpose. With iconic fights that still echo in the annals of boxing history, Ali's indomitable spirit shone through each round. The fight of the century, the rumble in the jungle, the thriller in Manila, each a testament to his prowess and determination. But his influence extended beyond the boxing ring. His conversion to Islam was a personal journey that shaped his worldview. His refusal to be drafted during the Vietnam War was a bold statement against violence and injustice. His suspension from boxing for his anti-war stance, a sacrifice for his beliefs. Ali was more than a boxing champion. He was a champion for his beliefs, a testament to the power of conviction and a symbol of resistance. Once the gloves were off, Ali's fight outside the ring truly began. In the twilight of his career, stripped of the lightning-quick footwork and stinging jabs, Muhammad Ali found himself grappling with a formidable opponent. Parkinson's disease, yet the same indomitable spirit that had carried him to the pinnacle of boxing, helped him face this new challenge with characteristic grace and courage. Ali's life after boxing was marked by an unwavering commitment to humanitarianism. His disease did little to dampen his spirit, as he used his global stature to advocate for causes that were close to his heart. From meeting with world leaders to visiting soup kitchens in his hometown of Louisville, Ali was a tireless ambassador for peace and unity. His humanitarian efforts were as diverse as they were impactful. He delivered medical supplies to an embargoed Cuba, hand-delivered food and medicine to children in Indonesia, and secured the release of 15 US hostages in Iraq during the Gulf War. His actions echoed his belief that our common humanity transcends borders and divisions. In 2016, the world bid farewell to the greatest. The global outpouring of respect and admiration was a testament to the profound impact of his life and legacy. From Louisville to Lahore, people from all walks of life mourned the loss of a man who had, in his own words, shook up the world. Yet even in death, Ali's spirit remains a beacon of resilience and hope. His legacy continues to inspire athletes, activists, and ordinary people around the world. His life serves as a reminder that true greatness is not measured by victories in the ring, but by our ability to rise above adversity, to stand up for what we believe in, and to serve others with compassion and dignity. Ali once said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. His legacy continues to inspire us all to strive for greatness in and out of the ring.